Hello, food fans, and welcome to Food Plays Prince of Persia Home. to Thrones. And yet, nothing is as I remember. Two. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here? Uh, uh. Wait for it. I don't realize where I will go. Right. Good job he turns him right angles, isn't it? Is that guy back facing away? Yeah, he is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Will you die already? Thank you. And now. I don't have a sword. <laughs> Fuck another archer. Or did I not kill the first one? Ah, I sliced his belly. You did. I sliced your belly, bitch. I sliced your throat. I sliced your belly like a bowl full of jelly. Yeah. Why won't you die? In the belly. There you go, you are dead now. And don't you forget it. Okay, run up the wall and press button four to stab the dagger in right there. Ah. So is yet another new thing. Run along the wall, then press. <gasps> that is wrong button, but home. Oh. And yet nothing is as I remember. Close to Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with Don't uncertainty. Don't fuck away. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has Okay, so run along the wall and press B1. Shatter to shatter to jump diagonally on the shutter. That's just weird. Well, I know those time switches well enough. Okay, so run, 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 in the dagger. <laughs> well, at least I have back here. Um, Do that, and it shows me. Uh, is he turned around? I think he has. So, well, I'm 
Right, press button three, which is that one. Right, he's facing this way, because that's going to try and teach me to do this, this. And I was supposed to do the killing blow while I'm still up there. In the burly. Give me a sword, bitch. Thank you. At least I said thank you. Right, now where? Alright. Is it supposed to be on his? <coughs> that wasn't me that coughed. Turn around, bitch. I pressed it too soon. All of that for nothing. Oh shit, I pushed the wrong button, but it worked. Now I'm assuming I'll go up there to get out. Where is it along there? No, it's not up there, because... Well, clearly, uh, that. Assuming <laughs> Oh, so that's telling me that smashing items can alert enemies. You, you didn't see that. So, thank you. It was a house. No, it was. I was down, wasn't I? Oh, look at him! Not doing too badly compared to last time. Well, I'm assuming it's... Well, I'm assuming it's got to be this one, then. I should be resting now. Recovering from my time away. Or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide. Sneaking about like a common thief. Hunted in my own city. Sneaky. 
I would have never seen that without that jump. Don't hmm? me. There's two guys there. Both not looking like they want to move at all. They're looking at each other as well, so if I take one out, it's going to alert the other one. And they're still looking at each other. So. Oh, now he's moving. No, no, no! Fuck. See, you thought I was going to flip him over, but I didn't. Sword, please. Thank you. So it looks like a lot of this parkour stuff is not just set up to get to places like the other games. It's set up to stealth kill people. So it's, you want to fight or do you want to parkour, hardcore? Hardcore, parkour. So I don't have to hold the button. I just must have hit the uh, run button by mistake. Well, that says to me that that was another go this way to stealth kill this dude that I've already killed. Good. Um. No, oh, I see. Oh, I can't get up there. No boobies. If I was fast, I probably could. actually that's not true. I'm moving at about the same speed they were, so we would have overlapped. Yeah, it was another time thing. And drink of water, please. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Shit! That's just the glowy light because light's coming from the ceiling. That floor thing, however. Yeah. Well, at least we know how he managed to uh, survive all the other traps, because apparently his home is just as bad. What the fuck? There we go, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, you're a son of a bitch who ever made this.
run up. Shit. Shit. Well, that's not... Well, at least I know I can smash those in there. Uh, yeah, these things are gonna make me able to see the... L. Okay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think that switch is the time one. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. He heard Fountain! Okay, what did the prince overhear? That there's a dude up there that he could see from down here. That was close. Glad I caught that ledge. I don't suppose there's a weapon thing lying around, is there? Considering I pushed the wrong button like a twat. Oh, but there's more of these things here. Ooh, found yet. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What he discovered was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless, a staff. A dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books! Such secrets they contained! For even then I was an older man, and knew that my time would soon be at an end. Give my the dagger. books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things. Oh, of course. Whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom. His army for my own. Nothing but sand between me and my desire. Ha! So, note yourself, you can do a stealth kill from the jumpy board things. Yeah, that was a bad move. Very bad move. Dumb egg. Instinct's telling me to jump there, but I've got to run there. You dead there? You dead there. Okay, so... Run up to that platform, run to there, jump diagonally, hey, that one, and then down, I'm assuming. So, or not, but up then. No, you knew what I was trying to do there. Here we go. There he is. Right, um... I ah, see, that's the ledge I've got to go to. But I'll wait for him to move underneath there.
Too early. And I don't have a sword as well, so I can't speed this up and it's just the tiny little dagger then. You need a sword to Right, then it's up here. I believe when I ran, I hit that ledge, which is why I jumped off like a twat. So I'm assuming I gotta run, and before hitting that ledge, jump over. There we go. Am I right? There's two guys there. There's a the guy up top. So. Alright. Killed him easy enough. I suppose you guys have swords for me. Yeah. Uh. Alright, so I'm assuming from that point I gotta jump over here. Shit. I just assumed when he jumped that he was dead. Well, at least now I know. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. That was it was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! It's another paradox game, isn't it? What have we here? Legs. We had boobs, we had us, now we got the legs. Vizier. Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. From the first I'm game, the dude. At last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no!
you have gained the recall. Well, I would have assumed there would have been a save point right here. But apparently not. The palace is falling, the palace is falling. Okay, so it's uh I said it's a uh, we Hello we Okay, onto there, that's easy enough. And there's the save point. Well, I think that's a good point, place to finish. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this part. If you have, please like, favorite, and subscribe. I am the food. Thank you for watching.